All right, folks, what we have here is a dual band ham radio. It works on uh, two meters and 70 centimeters. And it's made by Radio Oddity, or it's sold or branded by Radio Oddity. I really think this might be an any tone that's been rebadged. Anyhow, it's capable for up to 50 watts. It has a detachable head that you can remove right here for easy mounting in your vehicle. Large heat sinks and a big old fan on the back of it. In today's video, what we're going to do is we're going to hook this up to an SWR and power meter. And then we are going to test the power output levels of this particular radio. Before we get started, I did want to say one thing. I was contacted by the fine folks of Radio Oddity and asked if I would do a video review of this particular product. Of course, I said yes, so that means they sent this to me free of charge in exchange for this video review. If you're the type of person who is triggered by sponsored content on YouTube, it's best you go watch some CAD videos. Okay, so we have the DB50 connected right here into the Nisei SWR and power meter. It is the DG503 is the model there, just in case you're interested. So anyhow, uh, the signal coming out of the SWR meter then goes into a 200 watt dummy load. Now, if you take a look on the screen down here, you see this little L and that designates low power and we should get five watts on two meters. So we're gonna go ahead and key up and we see 4.6. Uh, SWR is one to one, which is pretty good. Let's try that one more time, 4.06. Uh, let's go ahead and switch over to 70 centimeters, do the same thing, and we get slightly over 5. Now, with the 4.6 on the 2 meters, that might have something to do with the radio not putting out the full power. It might have some attenuation through the coax, which I doubt because that gets worse as you go higher up in frequency. Or it could have something to do with the accuracy than to say power meter. Either way, I think I'm okay with that and not particularly upset. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to switch to medium two power on both uh, both VFOs. And when I do that, we are going to key up right now on two meters. And this should be 10 watts. And we get 9.75 on two meters. Let's go ahead and switch over to 70 centimeters. And we get a little bit higher at 10.81, which, again, I'm 100% okay with and fine with that. So let's go back over here and go to mid one. Let's see if I can get my fat fingers in there. All right, and we've done that, and this should be 25 watts. And we get 23.33. Would like that to be a little closer to 25, but again, I think I'm okay with it. Let's switch over to 70 centimeters, and we get 24.39. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to go to high power on both of these. And we're going to try two meters first. And we get 50.259. The rating here should be 50 watts, so it's a little bit higher for a change. Let's go over to 70 centimeters. And this is supposed to be 40 watts, and we are at 41.29. So I'm going to say overall it's a pass. Uh, some of the two meters is a little bit lower than it should be, but I think I'm okay with that. Not particularly upset about it. And folks, that's going to wrap it up. I'd like to thank everybody for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or criticisms, go ahead and post them below and I'll do my best to respond. As always, thanks for watching.